Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, today we got the Duramax 2300. Okay, this generator gives you 2300 peak watts and 1800 running watts. That's on gasoline. When you use propane, you get 2150 watts peak, 1700 running on propane. So you lose 100 watts when you switch to propane. This generator has something special. Just like all the Duramax, you have switch on demand, meaning that you can switch from gas to propane while the generator is still running. You don't have to shut it off and switch uh, fuel. You just switch whichever ones you want. I'm gonna show you that when I get to the generator. We're just showing you the box. Let's get the generator up here and we can get a closer look at the generator. All right, guys, we got the Duramax 2300 dual fuel inverter generator, pure sine wave inverter generator, propane and gasoline. 1.1 gallon gas. And if you use a 20 pound bottle of propane, you can get 18.1 hours at 50% and at 50% on gasoline, you get 6.5 hours. Okay, this generator weighs right at 60 pounds. Okay, 52 dBs, that's what they uh, claimed, 52 dBs. We're gonna be testing that. So this is your uh, service side. This is what I was talking about before, guys. You got propane and gas. You wanna switch while the generator is running? You just switch it to propane, it will keep running, or you could just switch back to gas. You got your manual choke right here, and this is your inlet for your propane tank. Recommended 20 pound on this, this size generator. Recoil starter, this generator does not have a key start, only pull start. Nice big handle on here, and you also have a telescoping handle up front, because this generator does come with wheels. Love it. Let's take a quick look at the front. You have your really nice control center and nice bright display on the Duramax. It's the exact same one on the 90, the 9000, 4500. They all have the exact same display. Stop, start, switch. Eco mode right here, low idle. This one has C, USB-C and USB-A. That's real nice. If you have an iPhone you want to charge right here, you could get a quick charge. It is parallel capable. It has your parallel ports right here. You got your 30 amp twist lock and your 20 amp 120 volt plugs right here, two of them. Restart, your restart breaker and your ground. Nice big inlet to keep the generator nice and cool. It's your gas tank. Like I said, you have a 1.1 gallon uh, fuel tank. Spark plug. You can check your spark plug right here. Real nice and easy. No tool access. Just pull this out. Pop it out. Okay, guys. ADCC engine. You have your oil inlet right here. So this is where we're going to add our oil. I've already added oil in it. Just saved it some time. Like I told you, your spark plug access, so you see right here, you can't really get to the spark plug, but you can get to it right here once you pull that off. Slide it back on. Easy access to your air filter. Real nice, simple maintenance. I love when they make it real easy for you to maintain, especially checking your air filter. Okay, let's get this back on. Just snap it. And then you just screw this back down. Okay guys, here's your exhaust side. It does have a spark arrestor, so it is spark safe. And we're back to this side. Let's go ahead and uh, start the generator up. Let's do a quick DB test on it, okay? The Duramax 2300. Okay guys, we got the Duramax on. It's off eco mode right now, so without a load on it, that's the loudest it will get. Like I was telling you about the display, really like that display. Okay, let's step back 23 feet. Okay, we're sitting right about 58. That's eco mode off. Let's go ahead and switch it to eco mode, see what we get. Okay, eco mode's on. Step back again, 23 feet. Okay. 
Okay, guys, I'm getting about 55, 55.2. That's the lowest I'll see. I know they claim 52, I'm getting 55. Okay guys, one thing I wanted to show you is what comes with the Duramax. It comes complete with everything you need to run on gas and propane and service. Okay, these are some of the things come with the Duramax 2300. You have your regulator, fuel regulator with the hose attached. You can see you have a wrench, spark plug tool, and screwdriver. It comes with its very own parallel cable, an adapter that goes to a 3 pin 30 to RV plug, so 30 amp RV, TT30R, and a funnel to put your oil in, all right? It comes with everything you need, 2300. Let's go ahead and hook it up to uh, propane, and we can demonstrate the fuel source switch on demand, okay? So we're going to have, it's already half fuel, we're going to start it on gas, then we're going to switch to propane. See if it keeps running, okay? Let's try it out. Okay guys, so I got the fuel regulator hooked on to the propane tank. Then we're gonna come down here and hook it up to the generator. It comes with the wrench. Just snug it, not too tight. Okay. Let's go ahead and start it. See if we can start on propane. When you open your propane, it's all closed or all open. Make sure you open it all the way. Here's your primer right here. Bump that twice. You turn your switch on. Give it a pull. Okay, so right now we're running on the propane. Okay? Running on propane. Let's go ahead and switch to gas. So it says switch to gas and turn off the propane. There you go. That works. Okay. We have the propane hooked up. Why don't we do a low test on gas versus propane. Kind of see what, what we get, okay? Let me get everything hooked up. Okay guys, we got 2,000 watt of uh, light right here. Each one is 500 watt. Okay, we got it hooked up to the uh, Duramax 2300. We're gonna be adding power. Right now we're running on propane, okay? Propane tanks right here. See it's hooked up to the generator. All the way open. Let's see what we get on propane, okay? We're gonna do a quick test. Generator's been running for a little bit. We're gonna do a test to see if we get more in propane than gas. They claim you'll get 1,700 running. Let's see if we get uh, over 17 on propane. Let's get started. All right, right now, it's putting out 124 volts. Okay, we can also get all power right here also. All right, let's go. Propane test, number one. Let's go up to a thousand watts. Go. Fifteen hundred. Let's see if we can get that seventeen. Barely, guys. Eighteen. Overload light, 1800 on propane. That's the most we can get on propane. 
and I was trying to put it on there it just wouldn't go higher okay let's switch the gas and see if that makes a difference if you actually get more power running gas okay guys so we're gonna try to switch the gas while it's still running so we go down to gas and then we'll quickly shut off the propane okay so you switch the gas and shut off the propane there you go now we're running on gas I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the hose so it doesn't confuse anyone okay one second okay guys we're back on running on gas let's see how much power we can get on gas remember on propane we were struggling right at 1300 watts okay let's see what gas gives us so we're gonna turn on the power right here to power the lights 2000 watts let's go gas let's go to 1000 watts yeah, 1000 watts All right, let's keep going. 15. 18. 2,000. That's it on gas, 2,000 watt. And there you go, you get your overload light. So you do get more power running on gas. And that's a known fact. All right, guys. Shut it off. Okay, so we just tested the Duramax 2300 on propane and gas. As you can see, you get a lot more power and a cleaner run on gas. So even though you get a longer run on propane, you do get more power running gas. So that's something you have to consider when it comes to running propane or gas. You want that power, you got to switch to gas. All right, guys, if you like my videos, if you like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel that keeps us growing. If you like the videos, you like the test, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I would love it if you can subscribe to the channel. Guys, thanks for watching my videos. More generators, more reviews. More product reviews coming. Please stay tuned to Gavin's Garage. Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye.